All right, so we have our login form ready and we just have to submit the form to our Laravel backend. So let's open Authenticate Controller and go to the store method. Much like what we did in our register controller, we just want to validate and log in the user. So let's do the same thing. We want to create a credentials variable and we will set this to request validate and then pass an array here. Let's end the statement before I forget. And we just want to validate the email input field that is required and must be an email. Then we also validate password that is going to be required. That's it. Now we want to check if this credentials is correct, we would log in the user, otherwise return back to the login page with an error message. So let's add an if statement here. And for the condition, we want to use the auth facade again. And this time we want to attempt. So let's use the attempt function that would look for a credentials array. And we have it up here, so we can just pass it down. And a remember me Boolean, that is not necessary because by default it's false. So we do have the feature, so we can use the request and we are looking for a Boolean. So we can pass the Boolean function and the key that we are looking for is remember. And of course we don't need to do this. We can just pass remember here. That would also work, but this is just to be sure we are passing down a Boolean. So if this is true, that means the user is logged in and we want to grab the request and we want to regenerate the session using the regenerate function on the session function. So these are the methods that Laravel documentation recommends that we need to do when we are authenticating a user. And then of course, when it's done, we want to redirect the user to their dashboard or to the intended place. So for example, if they were about to go to creating a post or a listing and they needed to log in, they would go back to that page instead of home or dashboard or whatever. So we don't need to pass anything here because the default route is homepage. And we do have a homepage, so we can leave it as it is. But later on, we can add a dashboard here, for example. So if there is no intended place, they can go to their dashboard. So that part is if the credentials are correct. But if it's not, we want to return back, using the back method, of course, with errors. This with errors would take an array with key value pairs. So we can say, show the error under the email field, for example, or wherever we are showing that message. And for the text, I just wanna say the provided credentials do not match. And then we can chain only input and pass down the name of the input field we want to attach this message to. And again, these are all coming from Laravel documentation and we are just doing what is recommended. Now let's go back to our website and press login. You can see we have the error messages. If I try to add something that is incorrect, we will see this credentials do not match. And you can also see the progress bar up there. We have it for a split second. But if we actually log in and choose remember me, we are back to the homepage. And if we check our database, you notice our user has a remember token. So that means everything is working properly and our login functionality is set in place. But now we cannot go back to those pages because the user is logged in. In the next video, we will add log out and update our navigation. So it will represent the authenticated state of a user.